George Mason University and welcome inside the press box. Today we have special guest head coach of the women's basketball team, Nyla Millison. Nyla, thanks for joining us on the show. Um, yes. And uh, I'm Perry Buckley. Demonte Shaw. I'm Matt Newman. And again, thank you for coming on. Uh, so one of the first questions we have for you is, what, was, what were some of the sports that you played in college? And talk about a little bit of those experiences. I actually played two years at uh, junior college in basketball and uh, volleyball. And then I'll just go ahead and throw this out here. I actually was on the rodeo team okay. at, uh, at K-State. Uh, so uh, I, I guess I'm a versatile person. <laughs> yeah. Well-rounded. <Yes. laughs> All around athlete. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's great. So uh, which one would you say was your favorite? Basketball was probably my favorite, um, but uh, I was really good. I, I rodeoed since I was only about five. But that was all way back a long time ago. <laughs> How does a rodeo team work? Um, well, um, you just it's like any other team. It's more obviously an individual sport, but uh, you know, you have your horses and you travel across the country to, to different rodeos and um, depending on how you place, a little bit like track, depending on how you place, uh, you add the team points up. And so. Impressive. It was fun. It's pretty, <laughs> pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So we'd like to get to know you a little bit more, being that this is your first year here at George Mason. So what are some of your interests? It could be movies, music, books. Hobbies. Yeah. Well, I love to watch The Young and the Restless. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, I've watched that a long time. I won't tell you my age, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, 40 years old, The Young and the Restless, and I watched it for most of those 40 years. So um, I love spending time with my family, and, uh, particularly at the lake. I enjoy doing that. And uh, really my passion is coaching and making a difference in young women's lives. Is, is that what drew you to coaching, like being able to make that difference in my kind of also in basketball realm? It is. Uh, I, uh, I played on some really, really good high school teams. Uh, we were state champions my senior year. I had really, really good coaches that made such an impact in my life. And it wasn't where I was really headed at first. I was going to go into physical therapy, okay. um, but I just decided that uh, I really did want to make an impact. Uh, I love the competition. I love the teaching aspect of it. But at the end of the day, I really, really love the difference that you can make to these young people's lives. Matt touched on a little bit, but how exactly did you start and get into coaching? Did you go with that? I graduated from K-State in 85, and I started actually at the high school level. And I, I taught and coached at the high school level for 14 years. Then I had an opportunity to start a Division II program um, at Dury University. Um, they had never had a program before, so I did that. I was there eight years and I went to Missouri State. So this is going to show my age a little bit, but this is actually my 29th year of coaching. Wow. So I started at the high school level and have been very, very fortunate, very lucky to work my way up to the A-10 at George Mason. Yeah. Wonderful. So how fulfilling was it to start a program and see that evolve and grow? It was awesome. And then was it hard to leave that once you... It, it really kind of was. It, it was awesome because um, I got to order basketballs, order uniforms, hire a staff. They had nothing. Um, recruit our first class. Mm -hmm. um, we were national champions or national runner-ups in our fourth year um, at Drury. Um, it was tough to leave, but uh, I guess as in every profession, you try to get to that highest level. And um, it was a Division II school, so I got an opportunity to go to Missouri State and, um, and stay in the same community. Um, I was in Springfield for 21 years, so it was I went from high school level to Division II to Division I, so a very unique opportunity. And it was just an opportunity at that point in time, as difficult as it was, that I just really couldn't pass up. On top of all of that, you're you're also a scholar. I mean, you're a valedictorian of your high school, <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you stress that importance to, to your players? You know, academics really are important, um, and we, we stress on and off the court how important it is to be you know, that person that strives to be the best you can be every day. And, you know, we don't ask everybody to be um, straight-A students, but we ask them to do the best that they can go to class every day. Um, at the end, particularly on the women's side, very, very few are going to have the opportunity um, to do this for a long, long time. So uh, be able to support themselves, have a family, do those sort of things is very, very important to me. It absolutely. So, go ahead. I was just going to ask you, um, like, 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 as a coach at like this sort of institution, like, what are your like goals for this upcoming season? You know, it's our first season in the A10, your first season as a coach. What do you like to see from our team this year? Well, we know we have a, a lot of work to do uh, in terms of moving to the A10, but what a great opportunity for me yeah. and for this team to go yes. into the A10. Um, 
So we're going to compete, try to get better every day. Uh, I can tell you that they have gotten better. They're working extremely hard. This is a great group of young ladies. Um, they want to win. They want to be successful. Our ultimate goal is to win an A-10 championship. Whether or not we're able to do it this year, that's, that's going to be the goal. Um, but that's where this program wants to head. Um, and also, this program's only been, never been to an NCAA tournament. I think only has been to three um, postseason play in the WNIT. Um, this program desperately wants to get into postseason play. What would you say was, has been your hardest transition coming to Mason and, and this, this different atmosphere? I would say the first thing is my family is not going to be here until the spring. So I'm here by myself. Uh, our youngest son is a senior in high school. Um, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Um, but on top of that, as far as the Mason experience, the basketball, it's all been awesome. Um, cost of housing is a little bit of a culture shock from the Midwest. Yep. And well. Northern Virginia traffic. Do I have to say anything else? No. Um, oh we don't have this kind of uh, traffic in um, the Midwest, in um, Springfield, Missouri, or Western Kansas, where I grew up. But again, that's part of it, too. You try to avoid those rush hours if you can. And if you can't, you turn your radio on. <laughs> Enjoy life. <laughs> She's already figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Not much option, is there? <laughs> no. You're ahead of the game. <laughs> so how exactly did you hear about this position, and then what were some of your first impressions of the first place? Actually, I, I, um, I read about it on the internet, um, and it was um, just a couple of days after they made the announcement that they were going to the A-10. So, um, I did my research real quick. It seemed like an incredible, first of all, an incredible university. Uh, in order to be a successful coach, I think you have to have um, some of the things within the university, the academics, the administrative support, some of those things in order for you to be successful. And I felt it had that. Um, I interviewed um, the minute I stepped on campus. I fell in love with it. Um, I just think there's great things. Maybe to the A-10 obviously was a bonus. So it didn't take me very long to know that uh, I, I thought the Patriots and myself would be a, a great match, and so far it has been. Awesome. Speaking of great things to come, there's some madness since this, this Friday. How pumped up are you for that? I am extremely excited. I've heard just incredible things, how awesome it is. And um, there's going to be tons and tons of students in here. And um, I think that's one of the things that we're going to really have to do is, is I know that our fan base isn't real, real big. The student um, fan base isn't very big. So I, I'm hoping that uh, they see a little bit uh, at Mason Madness this weekend. They like what they see. Um, I think we've got an exciting style of play, and um, you know they'll continue to come out and we'll continue to grow. But uh, I'm very, very pumped for Friday night for Mason Madness. Now, awesome. now Coach Hewitt's first year, he showed up for Mason Madness <laughs> as a Patriot. So. I heard that. I think we've got a couple things up our sleeves. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm not letting any uh, cat out of the bag. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So um, I, it'll be fun. It'll be fun, and I know our team is really, really looking forward to it. That's great. That's great. Thanks again. Thanks a lot, Nala Wilson, for coming on yeah. to the show. Yeah, thank you. And um, thanks for watching, George Mason University. Press on. <laughs>